award-winning author Eileen Gouge joins us to talk about her novel, Woman in Red. It's an honor to have you here today, Eileen. Welcome. Oh, I'm very happy to be here. Thank well, you for having me. You're very welcome. Tell us about your story. This is the kind of book I like to read, the kind you can really sink your teeth into. I'm known for heroines who face tremendous adversity, and in Woman in Red, Alice is just home from nine years in prison for the attempted murder of the drunk driver who killed her elder son. And But a lot's changed since she's been gone. Uh, her younger son is now an angry teenager she has to reconnect with. And the man she almost killed, who's in a wheelchair, is now the mayor of her hometown. And of course, there's romance. Uh, she meets Colin, who's a 9-11 widower who is also picking up the pieces of a broken life. And uh, the story jumps back in time as well. You have uh, the present day story of Alice and Colin, and then you meet their grandparents. Set, that part is set in World War II, and uh, you get to know them and their lovers as well. So there's a sort of all ties together nicely. It really does. And tell us, who is the woman in red? The woman in red is actually a portrait, and it's of Alice's grandmother. And it was painted by Colin's grandfather, who was a well-known artist in his day. And they had this epic wartime romance, and actually got choked up doing the, writing those scenes because it was so, so emotional for me. And uh, but it's actually the portrait is the thread that ties the two generations together, and it's the key really to what unites. Uh, Alice and Colin, but I don't want to give away the surprise because <laughs> it has a little surprise twist at the end. What was the significance of the dog, the Border Collie, that's included in the story? I love dogs, and I'm a sucker for any story with a dog in it. And um, this is a Border Collie, and we had a Border Collie when I was growing up, and he actually saved my sister's life. She was about three, and she was a wiry little kid, and she wriggled through the bars of the fence that was around the pool. and. She was actually floating face down in the pool, and this our dog Pat was barking and barking. And my, brought my mom running, and so I feel you know he's he was the hero of our family. And in Woman in Red, the border collie's name is Shep, mm -hmm. actually saves Colin's life in a different way. But I like to think of it as my tribute to Pat. What do you hope readers will take away from reading your book? You know, I get emails from readers who say things like, oh, I was up all night with your book and I couldn't put it down. And I just love hearing that because I know I did my job. I know I gave them their money's worth. And the other thing I get is letters from women who say uh, that the characters and the adversities they struggled through inspire them in some way. So if there's a message in Women in Red, I'd like to think it's Hopefully it will have inspired some women who are having some tough times to that yes, you can overcome them mm -hmm. and maybe even find romance. Well, thank you for being with us, Eileen. It was a pleasure. Thank you for having me. Best-selling author Eileen Googe has created a multi-generational saga of families who are bound together by love and adversity, family tragedy, and hope in The Woman in Red.